Okay, I got a little project. I've got an old UPS unit. It's probably only a couple hundred watt maybe output. Um, 360 watt UPS. Battery's long gone because they're dead. I've got one of these modules, which is a uh, power monitoring, battery monitoring uh, module basically. It comes with a shunt. So that's that bit. I've got a cigarette lighter thing. I've got a bunch of these batteries that we briefly filmed a little while ago. So I'm going to make, because we're going camping this weekend, the kids want to go. Um, I'm going to make a quick portable power bank sort of thing that's got a cigarette lighter because we've got a fridge that runs in the car but if I run the fridge constantly the car battery will go flat so I'm going to take this with me I'm going to put the power monitor into it so I've ditched the original battery that goes in there it was a 12 volt 7 amp battery so I've got rid of that I'm going to stick that in there like so I'm going to stick that in there as well uh, and there oh, I might even fit two of those in um, then I'm going to put some connectors in to run the batteries externally. So that's what I'm going to get on and do. I'm just going to quickly check that this inverter does, in fact, work. So I'm going to put the meter on. Connect the uh, negative ground. And we'll connect the positive, make sure everything's right. Yes. Uh, battery is at 13.34. Okay, saying the battery is a little flat, but it may well do that because it's a different technology. So I'm going to turn the lights out because I'm going to use the lights as the load for this. It's got a bit dark. As I just make the cable a little bit longer by yanking. Uh, surge only, battery backup. So we want that set of sockets. Oh, she's turned herself off. There you go. Must have been a loose connection. UPS is not fantastic. You might be able to tell from the video it's a little bit flickery on the lights. That is down to the UPS. But she's running. Battery's at 12.77 at the moment under load. It's dropping one milliamp every second and a half at the moment, I think. Something like that. So that's good for me. So I'll get a couple of sockets, main sockets, should I need them. I don't think I will for this particular trip, but they'll be there anyway. And I've got somewhere to run the fridge to keep the burgers and sausages safe <laughs> for the barbecue on the weekend. Lovely. Oh, and importantly, to put beer in. Put beer in the fridge, yes. Um, so I'm going to quickly cut some holes in this panel work and make this up. These are not for power, they're just to um, get the signals to and from the uh, monitoring unit. Uh, power cables will be done out of the thicker, thicker stuff, um, like these. 
these are uh, Anderson type connectors. I think these are like 60 amp ones. Uh, doesn't say. But they're actually made by APC. So you can guess that I've taken these off UPS units. It's saying that the two sensor ones are essentially connected together via the shunt. So let's meter the board and see if they're actually connected internally. They're not. That's weird, isn't it? Oh well.
probably am going to put a fuse in this before I bolt it all up. Um, and I can do that quite easily to be honest. I can um, pull it in line there with that terminal block. Um, so, I do need longer cables. I am fully aware of this. Double check I'll put those on the terminals right. Yes, and yes. Right, so the meter reads that way round. Okay, I don't know if you can see the meter, can you? Yeah, you can just about. It's got a protective film on. Let's get rid of that because that causes a glare. I'll zoom you in a bit as well. Oh, there we go. I wonder if I can do it like that. Can I do it like that? Oh, God, you can't see now, can you? Right, so. It's currently saying there's no power being drawn. Well, that's a surprise because it's connected. But anyway, let's turn on. <coughs> UPS is on. It's drawing half an amp. Six hundred seventy milliamps. Eight point eight watts. And we all want to know what's it do when we put the lights on. So, I'm going to kill the lights again and plug those in. Of course, this is where it all goes a bit wonky because the plug doesn't reach. You can tell I didn't plan this very well. Right, okay. got that there. I'm just going to plug this into that. We have light again. So now, apparently we're pulling 20 amps now. Should we try and verify this? I'll prop that up there. Let's get the old clamp meter out. Uh, what can I clamp into? Clamp onto the battery. Well, the battery says, the meter says, I am putting 10 amps. Bit of a concern, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. So, are they any good, these things? That one's saying nothing, which is kind of what we expect. I don't know if you can see my meter there. It's connected to the ground. Um, okay. You got. So in theory then, because these are 20 amp cells, these uh, uh, lithium phosphate cells, so in theory we should last an hour on these lights. I hate these UPSs by the way, they're not very good at all, um, they are cheap, cheap things. I got them for nothing so I can't complain really, but the amount of flickering they're causing in the light is unbelievable. So it thinks it's drawing 20 amps. I may have to get another meter out and actually check what it's drawing because uh, something clearly isn't right here. All right. The buttons for the um, backlight. Shall we read the instructions quickly? Oh yes, very understandable, all of that, makes perfect sense, particularly LCD, I can pick that out of the text, and the various numbers, something about set, clear, cur, cur is something to do with the uh, current, 
Is there an English side? Oh, there we go, it's an English side. That makes it a little bit more sense. Uh, let's see. Backlight control. Reset energy. Long press key until power display is clear. Okay, makes sense. Set voltage alarm threshold. Okay. We don't need a threshold for that. Uh, choose measuring range. Long press key until cursed. Then release. At this moment, the current area display 100. Short press key to switch 150. Right, okay, so I believe I'm probably in the wrong mode. seem to work does it? It's one of these Chinese things that you've got to mess around with obviously. Yeah, so right. Long press key until power area display shows cur, then release the key. At this moment the current area display 100 short press then key to switch between 100 and 50. To prompt the range of external shunt is 100 or 50. Please note the meter can only use these two specification shunt. Long press key to exit and setting uh, state after no operation with seat. I love Chinese text. It all makes so much sense. Uh, right, let's go again. Oh, there we go. Ten amps. Okay, so we're a bit closer now. So the, the shunt was set to uh, a hundred amp shunt, and it's actually a fifty amp. So that kind of makes sense because it was doubled. Um, so yeah, we're now at five hundred milliamps difference, uh, almost or well, thereabouts. It's fluctuating a bit. So there you go. See, it's saying ten, ten to eight, nine forty on that one. Um, okay, so I, I'm quite pleased about that. Um, I want to turn that around the other way, I think, probably. Do I want to turn it around the other way? I'm not sure I'll have it facing the plugs. Oh, it's such a difficult life, Jews, and all these things, isn't it? Um, So we're working, it's doing what it's meant to do. So I suppose really now then, the real test is the camping trip. <laughs> um, and see what happens. So on that note, that's the project. Um, all I've got to do is clip that in. It li does literally clip in as well. It doesn't screw. A little clip there. Um, and job done. So have fun. Be safe. Go build something.